What's up guys, it's Aaron Benjamin here for another video. Today I have the pleasure of having my fiance Bruno with me to film. So guys, lately on my channel we have been focusing a lot on single leg X and we're still going to keep focusing on it for a little bit more. On the past few videos I've been focusing on a modified single leg X, in my opinion still single leg X. But if you're not familiar with one leg X, I have a basics video on the position so check the link in the description. And if you're not familiar, familiar with a modified single leg X, I made a video on the off-balancing principles and the basic sweep, so you can check the link in the description for that. But anyways guys, I also want to take a quick second to thank you guys. The subscriber count keeps on growing, so thanks so much for that. And if you like the content, please like, subscribe, share, all that good stuff. But let's get into it, because this is an incredible sweep from Single Leg X. All playing off of that modified One Leg X off-balancing principle that we've been working. So. Real quick to rehash, always rehashing. What is single X? If you're, if this is your first time watching the videos, or this is your first time being immersed to this position, basically it happens when I'm completely underneath my opponent, right? Ideally, I want her ankle at my armpit, and then I'm gonna lift one leg out and around to her hip. The other leg is gonna clamp, and I'm gonna lift my hip up high. Modified single leg X occurs more often against higher level guys because the basic single leg X is harder to sweep them with because they're probably more familiar with it. So what typically ends up happening is they squat and they peel this hook. Exactly, just like that. So what happens when they squat? I'm not able to keep this foot on the hip because as she squats, right, I can't bring it back unless I'm super flexible, right? And then it's still awkward. I don't have as much power with it. So a very good option is to bring the hook underneath like this, right? If I feel like they're really squatted, I might have to push them that way and lift them a little bit, like this, right? And then I can bring this hook underneath. So, assuming she's like this, she's squatted, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take advantage of her leg being close to me, and I'm going to grab her pants. Any time in the single leg X, I feel like this leg is attainable, I'm going to grab it. So my right hand, so this hand has an ankle lock grip, very important, my right hand's going to grab the pants four fingers nice and tight. Right when I get the pant, I'm going to start to sweep. So I'm going to sweep using the same off-balancing principle that we've been using. I'm going to turn to my right shoulder as I turn her knees in that direction, like this, right? And then this sweep can feel a little bit weird because it can feel like my hand is blocking myself. So I'm going to start to extend this leg, but I can't extend it too much or I'll break my own grip. So I extend just enough to rock up, and look, I pendulum my leg to rock up. Once I rock up, guys, I'm going to yank that leg from underneath her as I get up like this. And then I'm gonna get the sweep. So let's look at different angles. So we're here in the one leg X. Our opponent's high level. They're able to peel our hook and squat. Look, I'm not able to get my hook back in. Maybe I'm not even able to get the modified one leg X in. So right away, I'm gonna push and I'm gonna elevate. That's very important, guys. Don't just give up on the position. Look, I move her, and I get my hook back in. I moved her by pushing this hook really hard that way and pushing her at the same time. Once I get the hook, if they squat again, it's gonna be harder for them to get into as good of a squat as they had previously. Now, in this specific sweep, I'm gonna grab her pants because it's attainable. I love grabbing the pants from here because one of the biggest threats against X guard, modified single leg X, and single leg X is the dreaded back step. And I'm going to make an entire video talking about how to deal with that in videos to come. But one simple way is controlling this far leg. And I do so by using my right hand to grab the pants. And now as soon as I get the pants, I'm going to use that same off-balancing principle that I mentioned in my last video. Again, the link's in the description. So I turn onto my shoulder as I bring this knee behind this knee and make her go that way. Just like that. It's exactly what I want. I want both hands on the mat. Now I extend her just a little bit, but not enough to break my own grip. And now look, you see this leg? I'm gonna use it to rock up, right? And as I rock up, I'm gonna yank her leg from underneath her. Just like this. And guys, I love this sweep because you end up in such a good passing position with control of both legs. So let's look at it one more time from that same angle. 
So again, I get to single X, she peels my hook, I need to make some space. I get my near side modified single leg X hook in. Assuming I can grab her pants, I grab her pants right away. And now look, I turn to my right shoulder, extend her little, sit up, and I pull her leg from underneath her. You can also use this sweep with both pant grips. So some people like to control the single leg X with two pant grips. So let's turn this way. So what I mean by that is some people like to control single leg X with the pants. In my single leg X basics video, I mentioned you can do hamstring, ankle, pants. So if I have the pant grip, she does the same thing. She squats, she comes low, right? I push her, I get this modified single leg X hook in. My right hand controls her far pants. Even if you can't get her pants, right, you can kind of bring her back this way. So step this leg back. So if I feel like I can't grab her pants, I'm going to draw my knees to my chest like this. Now her leg is close enough to grab. And now look, same thing. I turn, I push. I don't want to break my own grip, guys, so it can feel awkward. I rock up. And now I have two pant grips and I can start to pass. So guys, this is one of my favorite sweeps, but the last few videos I've done, both this sweep with the arm underneath her, I'll link that in the description too, the um, modified single leg X sit up sweep, and this sweep are all based off of that same principle of off balancing her so that she turns and I get up. So I know I keep saying it, I know I sound like a broken record, but I really can't emphasize enough how imperative it is to understand that off balancing principle because that is going to be the foundation of all these sweeps and that is going to allow you to sweep some seriously good guys but anyways if you like this please like and subscribe for more and thank you so much guys awesome